I can't tell if it's focused or not. I just went from like <laughs> having a little party to slapping someone's ass very quickly. Is it focused? I hope it is because I'm gonna be mad if I film this whole thing and it ain't damn focused. Hi guys! <laughs> I've never done this before! I wonder if someone's watching me. That's awkward. This is my first sit down chat video. Oh my god. It's actually been well overdue and it's been something I've been wanting to do for ages. Just kind of sit down, chat about life, chat about what I want to do with this channel, etc, etc. This video's come at a more pivotal time because I haven't uploaded in like a few weeks. And I'm going to get into why I haven't uploaded and why it didn't feel right to put out certain content that I had. And yeah, just basically update you all whether you're from Instagram or YouTube or my blog or whatever, update you all on where life is at and where I've been in terms of my YouTube channel and yeah, just how the hell, wow. Just how the hell I am. It's so good to be back. It's so good to be sitting down. I'm very excited to make this video because I'm also going to talk about all my August favorites as well. Basically, I was inspired by like old Zoella videos. I don't know if she still does them to be honest. She used to do these favorites of the month kind of videos and she'd do like clothes, food, books, anything. And I used to love them because it wasn't just like, oh, here's a haul. It was like literally these are bits of life that I love. I feel like that fits really in line with like my brand because it's like a lifestyle brand. Um, and I'm about more than just fashion, but like what I use in my everyday life as well. So I'm going to do my August favorites. I'm going to do a little life update get a little personal and basically say a proper hello to the YouTube audience. And without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> so first I'm going to start off with clothes because obviously I have a huge love for fashion. That's one of the biggest elements of currently loving my blog and I like to talk about it a lot because I think that fashion has the power to give you a lot of confidence if you use it right. And I've always kind of utilized that from a young age. You know, even when I was a little chubby thing, fashion got me through. <laughs> I'm gonna start with some winter essentials. These are just super simple, but I picked them up from Mink Pink a while ago. And they're just these turtlenecks. But I've been using these to layer up during winter and honestly, you probably have not caught a day where I haven't been wearing them. Because they're sleeveless, it's just perfect because you don't have that like, you know, muscle man sleevage going on. But then you're warm and then the neck looks cute and you just look like, you know, Cameron Diaz in the holiday. Or not, but like, as close as we'll get. <laughs> I got them in a few colours um, and different lengths as well, so this one's a bit longer. Actually the neck looks bloody long too. Obviously you roll that up. And uh, yeah, just again, works with different outfits because it is that different length. Let's move on to jeans. I'm just gonna show you one pair today. I have been loving, I don't know if you can see, the mum jean style. It's literally the only style of jeans I buy these days. And I was talking to AJ about it the other day. AJ's my boyfriend, by the way. If you're new to the channel, he appears reasonably often. And I was talking to him the other day and I was like, I reckon mum jeans are the like single pair of jeans that suit most kinds of people. There's like high waisted, a slim cut and all these different kinds. And usually they kind of are targeted at a certain body type. But I feel like these work for pretty much everyone. They're just like vintage looking. They just make an outfit like a little bit retro and I'm enjoying that at the moment. So mum jeans, all winter long, love them. Let's move on. We went to this, it was kind of an op shop and there were all these different clothes and things. Actually, I got these pants I'm wearing. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see them now? Okay, you kind of get the gist. Kind of. I got these pants I'm wearing at the marketplace. I also got this jumper. AJ will hate me if I don't credit him, so he spotted it, but I love these colors. Like, look at these warm tones. You've got like the beige, the cream, the white, 
the darker brown and I just think it comes together and just makes the most like gorgeous tone jumper I'm just obsessed it's also the softest thing you will ever touch doesn't actually have a brand name so I'm not sure but uh, just go vintage shopping honestly just diversifies your wardrobe and you find the best things like some of my favorite pieces I've ever bought in my life are from op shops and I've got the most compliments and everything because they're like distinct and I feel like when you find a piece that is just so you it's so special you know it's not like going to a store and there's a six and eight a ten a twelve or fourteen available literally if you go into an op shop and there's your size and it fits you and it looks awesome oh it's a dream <laughs> moving on I recently bought the Tommy Hilfiger set <laughs> There's my underwear. <laughs> this feels slightly weird. I just want to say, do it. Invest. I know like a lot of people have the Calvin Kleins and I love them as well. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to go a bit more classic. Like this is where the style comes from originally. So I thought, let's go Tommy Hilfiger. I love the colors. Yeah, I don't know which it is, whether it's Hilfiger or Hilfiger. But either way, I love these. They make me feel sexy in like a different kind of way. They're super comfortable as well. They look super cute. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> okay, moving on to activewear. As most of you know, I am a very active person. I have a lot of energy. I need to get that out. Maybe I'll talk about my fitness journey at some point in more depth. I swear by fitness nowadays. <laughs> I invested in some White Fox activewear a while ago. And they're like my favorite activewear label at the moment. To be fair, there's lots I'm like watching. I like that jagged activewear as well. Oh, there's so many I want to invest in. These ones I got, they're simple, they're black. They've got the little white fox detail. And then the white fox active is down the side. And they're really good whether you're training or whether you're just going for coffee and want to, you know, be in your activewear. I also got a couple of these three quarter length ones. The black ones were full length. So these are a couple of three quarter length ones. They also have the white fox. I don't know if you can see there. They're super just nice and stretchy, but also like just well fitting, you know? A lot of people talk about activewear like sucking you in and just enclosing you as a good thing. And personally, I don't find that. Especially when I'm doing hit, I like to feel like I can be nimble and just move like this. Like I'm wearing nothing almost. <laughs> you know what I mean though. I guess ability for movement is what these nail. I also got them in this color with the little panels at the bottom. They kind of remind me like a bit of the Sarah's Day collection. This has the white fox label as well. Super cute. I love them. Also for reference, I am about a size 8 to 10 and I bought all smalls in those. So that was super good, 100% recommend. Now we're gonna move on to accessories. I talked a bit on my Instagram about these. They're a bit different, they're not everyone's taste. <laughs> but I bought these headbands from this little marketplace in Melbourne. I saw these headbands and I thought, you know what? I can rock the like 70s look, can I? Let's see. <laughs> okay, I will show you them on. Granted I can like get them on. <laughs> okay, on the mornings my hair's not looking crazy, I actually think these look quite cute. Like, I kind of feel like a little girl going to preschool, but I also feel like I may be that edgy, artsy girl, you know? <laughs> okay, my hair's doing something weird now, isn't it? Actually, to be honest, the reality with these is... I like put them on and I'm like, oh yes, love it, cute, get on my denim and stuff and I'm looking mean. And then the whole day I'm like, my ears look huge. Because <laughs> for some reason they just make them stand out and like I'm already like a monkey looking person. Like if you were to attribute me to an animal, that's probably what you'd choose, I feel. I'm kind of regretting putting that image in your head, but it's out there now. And you know what, you can make your decision because... Most days I'm still making up mine. I'm like half obsessed with them, half like, why am I wearing this? Oh, see, this is cute. Maybe this one's better on me, actually. I don't know, but I just think it's quite adorable. Yeah, no, I don't know. Okay, let's move on. I've been using this bag so much. I was looking for like a little kind of satchel bag because I got sick of like 
carrying all my goods in a handbag. So I found this and it goes with so many different things. It was actually from Maya and it was super cheap as well. And you can just like sling it across your shoulder. I just thought it was kind of vintage again. If you want to get this type of thing, it's usually super expensive. So I was glad to get something just cheap because I already have like a really nice uh, leather satchel. Okay, finally, I have partnered up with Vision Direct for this video. Um, and they have given me a pair of sunglasses. I'm so excited for them. They look so cool. So basically Vision Direct have a whole load of different brands that you can choose from. And these sunglasses that I'm showing you guys today are from Arise Collective. Just make you look kind of badass, you know? They actually look so cool. I'm super happy with them. And it's cool because in Melbourne at the moment, it's still quite cold and windy, but it's sunny. It's actually the perfect time to start wearing sunglasses. So, um, yeah, those are them. Hope you guys like. They've got these little details here. And the whole Arise Collective range is actually, it's super cool. Like, lots where this came from. Um, and they have like a matte finish, which is gorgeous as well. You can tell that they're super quality. And that they're not going to just break as soon as I drop them. Because I will, let's be honest. You can tell there's been like attention to detail in the design as well. Like even the little ridges. It, just makes sense, I feel. I am super happy with those. I feel like they look really sleek and will finish off an outfit really nicely, especially during this like trans seasonal stage. You can get them online at visiondirect.com.au and I would 100% recommend ordering from a marketplace that actually specializes in sunglasses because a lot of the times if I've ordered off just a clothes website, <sighs> their sunglasses are such an additional like side thing. And let's be honest, they're crappy and you'll spend say 30, 40 bucks, but they'll break in a second. So these, you spend a little bit more. They're still a much more reasonable price than say designer sunglasses. Let's move along to the non-clothing item favorites. I'm gonna start with what I'm reading. It's this book called Close Enough to Touch by Colleen Oakley. I have read probably like this much so far because, you know, I go in and out of stages of reading. You know, we're trying to be better. If you're looking for a book, you're trying to get back into reading, give this a go. It's actually made me laugh out loud. The whole story is about a girl who is allergic to human... To human? Well, like touching other humans. Maybe it's like the human skin cell or something. I need to read up again, clearly. But basically she can't touch like anyone else and she kind of becomes a recluse. But she's one of those people who's super sarcastic and funny about it. So she like makes jokes of herself, like not wanting to leave the house. And oh, there was this super funny bit. I want to find it. Okay, I'm going to read this little bit out to you. She goes, there are upsides to being a recluse. Like, it only takes me six minutes to wash the one plate mug fork that I use every day. Yes, I've timed it. And I don't ever have to make small talk. I don't have to nod and smile when someone says, heard of my rain today? Or mumble something and name back like, the grass sure could use it, huh? Really, I don't have to worry about the weather, period. It's raining? Who cares? I'm not going out in it. <laughs> I just love her. She's like, it's like how I would think if I was like that. <laughs> She just knows herself, you know? It's a freaking good book, so go and get that and then we can read it together. Okay? Next up, what I'm using for like organization. These little notebooks from Lancome, when they sent me some makeup, they also sent me these little notebooks and I just thought they were really cute, but then I was like, hey, let's actually use them. And now I swear by them. I honestly, like every single day you'll see, I write, what I want to do, what I want to achieve, and I write it either in the morning or the night before. And it honestly just makes my mind clear. Like I almost can't go to bed now if I haven't written my list for what I'm going to do the next day. They don't have to be Lancome. Just go grab any little notebook and start filling in your goals for the day. And honestly, it will change things for you. I mean it though. You start to be more realistic with yourself as well. You start to go, okay, that list is unachievable. Let's cut it down a bit. And then you end up being satisfied because you actually get to tick off everything you did today. And you kind of get to see the week for how you're going to balance it out, which for me is really important being like a freelancer as well. I can see my schedule and be like, okay, when am I going to get some free time to do a YouTube vid? What else? 
I've been using a keep cup. I've been taking it out if I'm going for a walk or something and it does mean that I'm not gonna be like, oh, you know, it'd be nice, a coffee while I'm walking. Let's go add some more waste into this world, you know? So it's the little things we do. Speaking of little things slash big things we do, I'm vegan. I went vegan Ooh. three months ago. Okay, so I was vegetarian for two years and I went vegan three months ago. And it's been great. It's been pretty easy, I think. I've enjoyed the impacts it's had on my digestion, how it's made me feel in general, the food I've been eating. Though I'm not always, you know, the healthiest vegan that could exist. We're working on it. Knowing I'm doing something every day that's making a difference. That's what makes me proud about doing it and drives me to do it. So, I've been enjoying this Panna chocolate. AJ got it for me the other day actually. It is raw, organic, handmade, vegan, and it honestly tastes like, yeah, you can tell it's open. Yeah, I've been in there. <laughs> um, it honestly tastes like chocolate brownie. It is delicious. How much is it? What percentage? Oh, it's 60% by the way. It says 60% on the front. Why did I struggle so much to find that out? I literally read it in small print on the back. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Usually I think you have to have 70% or above if you're vegan and then it's like completely chocolate, no milk. So this allows us to have 60. Ah! Another thing I've been loving is Almond butter! I hate peanut butter, but almond butter is just delightful. I have it in my oats all the time. And not in small quantities. <laughs> Which makes it, yeah, an expensive habit, but I'm obsessed. I'm happy with the Coles brand, to be honest. I know there are some quite nice ones in health food stores. I have tried a few before. I can't remember the brand names at the moment. I know Pix does a good one as well. Coles has just released a new roasted almond butter. I don't know if you can see that properly, but I actually prefer the original, so I've still been buying the original. Maybe it's like the strength and flavor that that is. You can actually really taste that the almonds are roasted, and I just, I don't love that, you know? That concludes the long-winded favorite section of the vlog. I'm gonna talk about some more personal things, about my blog relaunch, why I didn't post for a while, and all those other juicy details. Just to update you firstly, I've been super busy with work. I'm a digital media marketing manager, and I work with a few clients from both New Zealand and Australia. And yeah, basically work has picked up like crazy lately, which is why I guess, yeah, there's two reasons why my channel were getting neglected a little bit, like not so much maybe Instagram, but I definitely put my blog on pause for a bit because of it. I mean, that was the first reason. Work picked up like crazy. Secondly, I wanted to actually know where I was going and what I was doing with it. I was obviously putting out all this content. I was happy with it. I'm not gonna say I wasn't. I'm not gonna say I regret anything I put out there, but it just didn't have enough direction for me. I just felt like I didn't have enough direction. And if you go read my latest post on my blog. It's all about how I totally avoided the idea of niche um, because I didn't want to be limited in the range of content I could put out there. I've come to realize that not just the most successful people but the people you connect with the most are those who have a real uh, clear message about them and so I was like, I need to create that clear message. People need to know why they're coming to my page and what they're gonna get. So that's what my entire relaunch has been about, including on my Instagram, kind of changing the feed, as well as completely redesigning my blog and reassessing the content I put out there. It's not gonna be that different, but it's just gonna be more under uh, an umbrella as opposed to just dotted everything. It's all about just bettering yourself and bettering your lifestyle, right? That's what I wanna do. I wanna inspire, I wanna empower people. We're trying, we're testing, we're experimenting, we're learning lessons to reach our happiest, best selves, our most productive, energetic, our most vibrant selves. That's what this journey is. 
and that's what currently loving is to be about. So hopefully that clarifies things a bit. As I start putting out more content, you'll get a clearer vision of that as well, and we'll hopefully see eye to eye on things. In terms of my YouTube channel, there was another reason I didn't post, <laughs> and that's because the next video I was going to post was actually um, the boyfriend tag. And I filmed it with AJ. We filmed it during our Great Ocean Road trip and we'd just do, you know, bits of the boyfriend tag per destination we were at. And it, it actually was looking really cool. Like I started to edit it and everything and I was really happy with it. But then me and AJ hit this bump in the road, would I say? I mean, yeah, even thinking back, it, it wasn't a good time. We, we weren't happy together, basically. Um, and I just want to clarify before you get sad or I get sad, <laughs> we're still together and we are the happiest we've been in so long. We work the best we have in so long. We're, we're complimenting each other's lives again. And when we were going through this blip, we really weren't. We even said that to each other. We're like, I don't know why, but we are nitpicking at everything each other does. We're just getting in bad moods around each other. There was still spark there, of course, because it's never gone. But every time, you know, those romantic moments tried to be something, either one of us would just kind of almost, I don't know, slam it down. Like, almost subconsciously. He'd try to be caring to me, and I'd just pick out something else bad that I thought he was doing. Then when I tried to be caring to him, he was like, you snapped at me. It kept going back and forth. And we were honestly like, how are we gonna get out of this? Will we actually stop being such negative influences on each other? I know that it had a lot to do with me. Two years in, <laughs> and I still had a single mindset in a relationship. I've never been someone like looking for a serious relationship, looking for a boyfriend, anything like that. Because I've always been very driven in my own path, I think. I've always been like pretty career focused. I'm a flirty type, but I'm happy to just, you know, flirt and leave and go do my you know? So I guess I went into the relationship like, yeah, I'm keen on getting to know this guy. Then next thing you know, I fall in love. But at the same time, I was so, so insistent about sacrificing nothing. I was like, yeah, maybe I'll sacrifice something when I'm 30, but now, hell no. Sacrifice and compromise, I'm not interested. That sort of mindset was just embedded in my head. I think it was from me being all independent, powerful woman. You know, I'm on my path. If you want to join it, you can. Otherwise, see ya. But it's like, a relationship cannot work like that. I mean, it sounds said and done, but I actually had to have someone say it to me and then to actually digest that myself, that you have to compromise. And that doesn't mean you have to let go of your dreams, but it does mean things like thinking about them, considering them, communicating with them. Especially after leaving home, I think I was all, I won't be accountable to anyone kind of thing. In a relationship, you owe it to that person, that person you love, to be open, to be honest, to tell them, like, where you are. Not to be like, oh, I won't reply and I'll just leave them guessing for a few hours and then come home and be like, hmm. That's not interesting. That's not fun. That's not nice for them. <laughs> I was doing it for no reason other than, you know, that's what I'd known. I was just doing single me in a relationship. And now looking back, I can totally understand AJ's frustration and why we got into so many fights. Because I would go around doing single me being inconsiderate, yet when he did anything that I thought was like slightly wrong, I'd be like, that's wrong. You should change that. And the worst part is, AJ's such a caring person that he'd do it. That he'd be like, if you think that's something I need to work on, I'm going to work on that for us. <laughs> Here I was asking for all these changes to better us and I was the issue. I'm very lucky to have found someone who I'm so in love with, who 
looks after me the way he does and treats me the way he does and I don't want to let go of that and my mindset or my inability to change it at that time almost made me let go of it. To bring stability to a relationship relies two people who are trying to make it stable and he was and I was there like oh well you know you're providing the stability for the both of us and just exploiting that almost. I know this makes me sound like a horrible person but it honestly was just subconscious because I just never changed my mindset and I couldn't understand why that mindset which had worked in so many other facets of my life and my career you know being focused and independent wasn't working in my relationship so it was like it was a pretty big wake-up call and um, I'm glad I've had it <laughs> and I guess you could say I'm implementing the changes now um, it's something I'm working on personally. I mean, I've talked to AJ a bit about it, but I feel like it's more of something that's my responsibility than his. So I guess overall I'm just trying to be more considerate and each day I'm kind of thinking rather than just what can I do for myself and to better my career and to better where I'm going, how can I actually benefit us too? Because I never used to think like that and he used to think like that every day you know and no wonder you get to a point where you're frustrated if you're the only one in your relationship thinking like that it's not fair so that's why I didn't upload my boyfriend tag for ages because we weren't in a good place it's taken some time to get things better but honestly since I've been implementing this kind of mindset things have been so much better I'm so much happier he's so much happier we're showing so much more love for each other, we're not taking each other for granted. <sighs> Me doing little things even makes the overall vibe like a happier relationship to be in. He's noticing it, um, which makes him grateful, which makes him happy and want to show love and I'm getting happiness from that and it's just, it's a way more positive environment now and so that's why I think I'm ready to share that. I'm ready to jump back on. It feels like the right time again. I think I've been pretty open since I started my YouTube channel. I've been pretty open on my blog as well and it's not something that I, I fear about. I don't fear about the fact that oh well me and AJ could break up and then I'd have to explain things. I think it's all like lesson learning. And same goes with my blog, like I share it all because I think we can learn from these lessons together, you know? And I think there's a slight chance that someone else out there needs to hear this stuff. You do go through ups and downs. I've never been in a long-term relationship before. I've never committed to someone before. It's not even been on my mind. So the fact that this has just happened, you know, two or so years ago, was almost like not my choice but life's choice and it's been about time that I adapt to that knowing that I want it you know like I want to seize that bit of life that whoever God whatever person up there gave me and I want to make the most of it not everyone does find love now and sure maybe it would have been more ideal at 28 when I'm ready to settle down but that's not how life works so I'm ready to make it work now and this is all about living our best lives, innit? Innit? Right on time for the blog relaunch. <laughs> it's all a marketing scheme, really. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up there. I have filmed so much. I don't know if this is going to be a super long video. I apologize if it has been, but I feel like I needed to do a big hello, welcome back, I'm here kind of thing. And yeah, things will be coming up. I'll be uploading that boyfriend tag. I'll be uploading my New Zealand trip vlog. I'm heading to Fashion Week in like just over a week and a bit. And I am super excited. There are awesome things to come. Life is good. Life is great. I hope you're having a most amazing day and that you leave feeling happy and knowing that almond butter is delicious. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe if you want to join this little community of love and confidence and uh, just um, spiritual philosophy. No, I'm kidding. Have a great day guys.
See you next time.